The chair now recognizes the Honorable Tom Wooten, who is the chairman of the Samish Indian Nation. All right, thank you, Madam Chairman. Uh, good morning, my, uh, good morning from the beautiful San Juan Islands where we, the Samish people, have always lived since time immemorial. Again, my name is Tom Wooten. I'm the chairman of the Samish Indian Nation, a federally recognized uh, tribe based in Anacortes, Washington, and thank you for this opportunity to testify. We also give thanks to Congressman uh, Gallego for introducing uh, 6181 and have thanks uh, to the 14 bipartisan co-sponsors. Uh, in response to questions raised about the bill as introduced, the tribe has proposed this amendment in the nature of a substitute. As you can see, it is short and to the point. The ANS would simply reaffirm that the Indian Reorganization Act applies to Samish. This would allow the tribe to be on equal footing with other federally recognized tribes. The ANS would help eliminate red tape, bureaucracy, and other roadblocks that have severely hampered our efforts to rebuild our community. The ANS is anchored in bedrock principle of the US that all federally recognized tribes should be treated fairly and treated the same under federal law. For over 25 years, the tribe has worked hard to reach out to surrounding communities and tribes to discuss our efforts to secure a homeland. We have a good relationship with Skagit County and the city of Anacortes. Congress passed the IRA in 1934 to revise misguided federal policies that resulted in uh, devastating losses of tribally owned lands. In 2009, the Supreme Court issued the Carcieri decision, creating additional hurdles in an already cumbersome land and a trust process. We are thankful that the House passed HR 4352, the Carcieri fix. Uh, our hope is that the Senate can pass the fix so no tribe has to go through what we've had to go through. Uh, fortunately for Samish in 2018, after an extensive nine year process, the department issued a detailed decision determining that Samish fulfilled the requirements under Carcieri. However, the tribe continues to struggle. Samish has suffered greatly. It was 52 years ago in 1969 that the BIA made a clerical error and left the tribe off the list of federally recognized tribes. It took 27 years of administrative process and litigation for the BIA to re-recognize the tribe in 1996. It took a, a it took this long in part because nearby tribes like Tulalip tribes litigated against our re-recognition efforts. After re-recognition, it took 10 years before the BIA uh, took 79 acres of land into trust for Samish. This occurred before the 2009 Carcieri decision. It took nine years after the BIA to, com to complete the Carcieri analysis for the tribe. In 2018, the BIA issued a decision to take 6.7 acres of non-gaming land we own into trust, which is adjacent to our existing 79 acres of trust land. However, the BIA has not taken this land into trust due to litigation delay tactics filed in the Interior Board of Indian Appeals challenging the BIA's 2018 decision based upon the Carcieri decision. This litigation could last over a decade. Meanwhile, our efforts uh, over 20 years to take other parcels into trust, like our administration complex and our longhouse, where we provide Head Start and elder services, have been at a standstill. The Tulalip tribes have long opposed our efforts, both legislatively and administratively, to take land into trust. In good faith, we proposed this ANS to address their concerns. The ANS would simply reaffirm the applicability of the IRA to Samish, just like it applies to other federally recognized tribes, including Tulalip. The ANS would help right past wrongs, enable the tribe to move forward. Again, I thank you for this time and I'm happy to answer questions. Ayesh Kassian, thank you. Thank you. Uh, very much for your testimony. Uh, the 